The National Pork Producers Council is asking USDA to scrap or rewrite a proposed rule on labeling meat as product of the USA. Now, under the proposal, the Food Safety and Inspection Service only would allow the label claim for meat from animals born, raised, harvested, and processed here in the U.S. But MPPC is pointing out that meat from live animals imported into the U.S. for all the same reasons could no longer make such a claim. Minimally processed products could use a qualified U.S. origin claim, such as sliced and packaged in the U.S., using imported pork. Although billed as voluntary, MPPC says the new rule would have the same effect as being mandatory because it creates a strong incentive for producers to prefer domestic animals to imported ones. Now, the organization says that would have detrimental impacts on imports, potentially triggering U.S. trading partners such as Canada and Mexico to challenge it. It is also concerned about the risk of retaliation against U.S. pork. It says its analysis of the proposed rule found it would significantly increase livestock producers' costs, leading to higher food prices. Now, vaccines against African swine fever being tested in Vietnam right now are getting closer to approval. Now, that's according to global and U.S. veterinary officials. It would represent a major breakthrough in tackling the deadly animal disease that has for years disrupted the $250 billion global pork market. The two vaccines co-developed by U.S. scientists are being tested in a large pilot program by Vietnamese companies, and they're showing what's described as very promising results. The next step will be a nationwide authorization and then possible overseas sales. The vaccines were tested in Vietnam, where swine fever is a constant threat because scientists could not develop a vaccine here in the U.S. as the virus has not spread here. And an important recall involving pork to tell you about. Johnsonville is voluntarily recalling more than 42,000 pounds of its Better With Cheddar pork sausage links. There is concern they may contain plastic fibers. They were shipped to Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Texas. USDA says there are no reports of any adverse reactions.